athletics, powerlifting, archery, swimming, rowing and cycling will remain unchanged for the Invictus Games. However, the organizers decided to switch this year's format of the event to online mode. For example, a person chose a rowing simulator. Fortunately, this is no longer a problem, because it is available in the gym in almost every city. The assistant is making video to make sure that this particular participant is performing an exercise. First, assistant records one minute of rowing. Then the simulator screen where the result is highlighted. After that, the form is filled out, a video file is attached and the result is sent to judges. They will record the time and correctness of the performance. Thanks to the online format, veterans from all over Ukraine will be able to participate in the games. Previously, this was unrealistic since they took place on the sports grounds of Lviv, Kyiv and Odessa. Last year, 218 wounded servicemen and veterans took part in the Invictus Games. This is the largest veteran competition that took place in Ukraine. So far, there are no other events that would gather a larger number of veterans. But in our opinion, this is not enough anyway. There are more than 10 southern wounded veterans and military personnel in our country. Organizers believe that thanks to the online format of the competition, at least twice as many veterans will undergo rehabilitation this year in comparison with the past. The proposed project of online games was indeed a breakthrough in the development of the rehabilitation system. This is one of the most modern approaches, and by the way, the transition to online allows you to attract even more people, even more veterans to this work. In addition to the Invictus Games, several more programs designed to rehabilitate veterans who got disabilities during the hostilities have been launched in Ukraine. However, because of the quarantine, most of them were not fully implemented this year. Reported by Vadim Kramer, UATV News.